a pretty rainy, dreary day on the farmstead today. So we're in the garage building a gate for the to get into our animal area. If you're new to this channel, we have a small farm, we like to call it, and it's kind of a hobby farm. We have a couple horses, we got a couple goats, we got a few chickens, two ducks, <laughs> two dogs, and a five-year-old. <laughs> So we have a barn cat also named Jerry. Right now I'm going to build a little hogs panel gate to go right here. And I think that's the last gate I have to build for a little while. So we'll just put something in right here. Kind of like I did down at the barn with the leftover stuff from the deck. These are the scraps that I had. So the way I'm going to do it is I've seen a couple different ways to do it on YouTube. And one way was to cut the hogs panel like this and then drill holes into the wood all the way around the frame that's the way I'm gonna do it because I only had long enough pieces to do exactly what I have here and I didn't want to go buy any more wood or do anything else so I'm gonna use what I have I honestly feel that this is not the best way to do it if I was to buy more wood I would do it flat I would do the um, two by fours flat like this I put the hogs panel in the middle and then I put like a little one by one or one by two on each side to hold the hogs panel. And I think that would work better and look nicer, but we'll see how this goes and uh, how long it holds up. I, uh, I'm going to drill the holes right now. I set my, I put a little piece of tape on my drill bit so that I only go in about an inch and a quarter. The, I measured it all out so that I should have an inch going in to each side. On this channel, I build a lot of stuff, so if you're into that kind of thing, it's all pretty easy. If I can do it, I'm sure you guys can do it. Think about hitting that subscribe button. Uh, leave us a like or a comment, and let us know how you think the finished product came out. Okay, so now it's the moment of truth. Got all the holes drilled. We'll see. I got these three pieces in, in the holes. It's kind of tough getting it to line up and stuff, but once it lines up, it holds in there pretty tight. So this was the last piece right here. And we'll see how this one lines up. How it fits in there. It's a little tough getting them to line up at first, but then once you get them all started, it kind of slides right in. Oh man. Dad, can you get past, please? Yeah. Okay. Lovely, it's taking a while, huh? I like that. No, okay, so I got it all in. Now I'm just going to square it up and screw it all together. Luckily, all the holes came out good. Um, I see a lot of people's points, like on their videos, that this is a great place for water penetration, um, but these are the leftovers that I had and I didn't want to buy any extra materials. So I had a hogs panel, half a hogs panel actually, and I had these from when I did the deck. I'm going to have to buy some hinges. Um, I'm also going to put a topper on this part, um, kind of like how we did with, I kind of do that with all our fences and stuff. I just like to put a little top on here so we can set something on there or you know you have something substantial to grab it also kind of helps keep the gate together a little bit i might also have to add a diagonal support on this one we'll just see how strong it is and how often it gets used it's going to swing open it's probably going to swing open this way and then we'll put a little latch right here okay here's the finished gate i'm uh, i'm actually pretty pumped up it it uh it worked out really well And then I bought these hinges. They're like self-closing. They've got a little spring adjustment right here. And then you put a stopper in. So, and then I also put this right here. That way, if for some reason, if Jace or somebody, you know, comes out, 
the gate automatically shuts on its own so he can walk out so he can walk out and if he forgets to shut it then it just automatically springs springs closed and then I put a little keeper on it right there so now it's pretty pretty solid let's demonstrate let's demonstrate it dear Oh, look at that. Okay. I was gonna soft clothes. <laughs> the expectations here. In all seriousness though, it is very nice to have a gate right here. We've been taking a hogs panel and sliding it back and forth for, I don't know what seems like forever, but it's only been a few weeks, but it's been not easy to deal with. So it's, little steps on your homestead you know when you get one little thing accomplished it just feels like such a milestone and having a gate here is one of those milestones it's uh sometimes it's just the little things that mean a lot and help functionality of your farm and how your daily uh, routine goes so it doesn't seem like it's a lot but this gate is actually a huge step for us and I was, I'm super excited about it. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my gate build video. And we'll see you on the next one.